Well, hello and welcome to the 20th edition of the Dubai Duty Free Championships. We have a cracking matchup to get things going on day one as teen sensation Amanda Anisimova looks to kickstart her year against former finalist Barbora Stritzova. Annabelle Croft is alongside myself, Peter Rogers, for this one. You looking forward to it? Uh, very much looking forward to this because, uh, as we all know, Amanda Anisimova, just 18 years of age, and she really has caused quite a stir since she broke out onto the tour. Well, we got a tour title under her name back in 2019 in Bogota. One of the youngest to have done that, actually the youngest since Serena Williams uh, when she won Indian Wells. But a real talent. And then a little bit of tragedy, of course, losing her father last year. So cut her season short. And it's great to see her back out on the tour. But Stritzova, I'm a big fan of the way she plays, Pete. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, matchup with regards to styles as well, as you say. You've got the court craft of Stritzova. It should be fascinating. We try and listen into the coin toss. We got a TV tape show. Okay. If you want to challenge, please make sure you're quick and you need to be clear. I would prefer to use your voice so it's clear for everyone. And then just a few uh, new changes regarding the off court coaching. So you can receive coaching now on the court, but if you want to have a proper conversation with, the, with your coach, this has to be on court. So it needs to be the usual on court coaching, okay? And then for cultural reasons, we don't want you to uh, change the shirts on court. So if you want to change shirts, let me know and you can just step outside the court, okay? Any questions? No? Pets? What else? Pets. It is Pets. Well, it looked like Anna Samova had won the coin toss. I wasn't yeah. quite sure, but I think she chose to, to serve. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. That was tough to tell, but we do think it was Anna Samova who won the toss. We'll soon find out in all of about five minutes' time. So confirmation then, this is a first round matchup between Amanda Anisimova from the USA, ranked 29 in the world and taking on uh, current world number two in doubles, of course, a former world number one, Barbara Stritzova, currently ranked at number 30 in singles. Well, here's a look at uh, their section of the draw. As you can see then Martic, number eight seed, who's due to face a qualifier. Some of the qualifying matches just being finished off today. And uh, Anisimova Stritzova, she'll play the winner, winner of this one, playing the winner of that. Also Kontovic in that section, along with the champion from last year, Belinda Bencic. OK, well, let's tell you a little bit more about our two players out here today. Then this is Amanda Anisimova. Highest world ranking, of course, was 21. That was achieved in October last year because it really was a breakout season that she had last year reaching uh, in the French Open, the semi-finals, having taken out uh, Simona Halep, the defending champion. She's only 18 years of age, five foot 11 inches tall, currently ranked at 29 in the world, but already amassed prize money of $1.6 million, making her debut here this year. One title to her name, that was Bogota, as I mentioned before, and also reached the finals in Hiroshima in 2018. But what a run through the semi-finals it was, really did announce herself last year. Okay, well, let's take a look at her opponent today then, because as uh, Pete mentioned, a very, very tricky customer. And uh, at the age of 33, has been playing some of her best tennis up until that semi-final run at Wimbledon. Rank 35 at the moment, high of uh, 16. That was in January of 2017. Only five foot five inches tall, as I mentioned before, into her 30s now, but has two titles to her name. Quebec City in 2011 and then Linz in 2017. Very much an all-court player. Can serve and volley, she can slice the ball, she can really mix the pace and really cause a lot of problems for so many players out there. 28 doubles titles to her name, 
most recently in Brisbane with uh, Shea Su Wei, who's her partner here this year. And of course, they are the top seeds in the doubles as well. Winner of Wimbledon in doubles and Madrid and Birmingham last year. And of course, one here in the doubles as well. So uh, we'll be feeling good with regards to coming back to this place. But as you can see, with regards to the head-to-head, -head, it is Anna Samova who leads it 1-0. They met in Auckland last year, and it was a straight sets victory for the American. Yeah, and of course, Stritz of a former finalist in singles back in 2016. And uh, what a run through the tournament that year it was, losing eventually to Sara Irani. I remember it very well, but uh, bringing that mixture of uh, spins. Here's the chair umpire then, Isabel Seafried. So I wonder what uh, Anna Samova can put out on this court because I watched her warming up earlier today. She looked a little bit frustrated in a, a practice session today, Pete. She was uh, striking the ball, I thought, beautifully. But one thing we always say here in Dubai is it's pretty tricky conditions. You know, you and I were talking to Nigel Sears, who's working here with Annette Kontovit, and he was saying how the ball does kind of stick, but it can also shoot through. So I think it takes players quite a bit of time to get used to it. There's the weather. 30 degrees Celsius, my goodness, it felt like that as well, didn't it, as we walked across here? Yeah, and this is the toughest time of day to play, isn't it? Around 2 p.m., this is when it will be hottest, and as ever, as it always seems to be in Dubai, barely a cloud in the sky. So it may well be who adapts to the conditions the better. Both of these players haven't played a tournament since the Australian Open, but they've both been here a couple of days just to try and get used to the court surface and to the conditions here in Dubai. So day one of the Dubai Duty Free Ready, Tennis Championships in its 20th year. It is Amanda Anisimova up against Barbora Stritzova. It'll be the American to get this one underway. Annabelle Croft alongside myself, Peter Rogers. We will talk you through this one. That's a fine way to start. You talked about the conditions being difficult. So far, so good for Anna Samova. Well, what a start and just such clean ball striking. She's got such great technique, hasn't she? Wonderful balance off both uh, wings. And as you can see, not afraid to take that ball on and really go into those corners and outmaneuver the opposition. She is such a, a clean ball striker, Anna Samova. She's been talked about for some time. For myself, when I first noticed her, Indian Wells a couple of years ago, she had a fantastic run to the last 16 there, beat Petra Kvitova in quite amazing fashion, out hit the Czech. Up against another Czech today, though. And that was as a 16 year old. I think in the first few points, <laughs> we've already seen what this match is going to be about. Absolutely, Pete. And at the moment, she's kind of bossing the points, isn't she? We only played four of them, but uh, even though she's made a couple of errors, she's definitely the one in charge. And you can see just how far Stritzova is behind that baseline already. So having to do a lot of defending, which is not what she wants to be doing.
well, not one to hold back with the emotion, Barbara Stritzova. She likes to wear her heart on her sleeve, has a terrific personality, great sense of humour, but you certainly know what she's feeling emotionally out there. It's going to be very interesting, isn't it, to see how Anna Samova gets on here. There's been a lot of change in her life of late. You, you mentioned during the warm-up the, the tragic passing of her father last year. But she's also changed coach since then. Hired Carlos Rodriguez after her father passed away, but is now without Rodriguez. Decided to go oh. in a different direction. Oh. Almost a, a couple of weeks ago. We believe she's now with Andes Yuska. She didn't uh, call Hawkeye on that one. That's a real aspect, isn't it, with regards yeah, to Stritz of his game, the court craft and showcasing it there. Well, she's so good at messing with opponents' rhythm out there, and uh, Anisimova is a very rhythmical type of tennis player, isn't she? She likes to get very set. The kind of ball trajectory off the strings is pretty similar all the time, but uh, she's going to have to cope with different paces and spins, different uh, heights over the net, different slices. Almost, you would say. Well, I don't know whether you would say, uh, Annabelle, whether or not this is almost an ideal opponent for a younger player to play against in terms of for them to learn the game. Well, that's true. You'd certainly get a, a bit of a lesson up against a player like Stritzova, but also Stritzova has not won a lot of matches since reaching the semi finals of Wimbledon last year. Towards the end of last year, six events, only won two matches. Wow, that yeah, yeah. really flew off the strings, didn't it? Set the point up beautifully. Don't feel like there's a lot of confidence down the other end with Stritzova. Only won one match this year, hasn't she? Actually, that was a good win over Britain's uh, Joe Conter. Yeah, and ended last year on a four-match losing streak. So, so confidence is going to be key here for both players. And it's a over to reach the semi-finals of Auckland, but perhaps a surprise loss in the first round of the Australian Open against Serena Diaz. Of course, reached the last 16 of Melbourne last year. Oh, well, that's two net courts yeah, 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 in the opening game. And, uh, well, Amanda Anasimova, not overly happy, but uh, Stritzova will take it. And she'll take the first game with the break. Yeah, that first game had a little bit of everything, didn't it? Had a lot of uh, clean ball striking from Anna Samova and then a few unforced errors thrown in the mix and had to cope with, uh, as you say, a couple of let cords, which uh, didn't go down too well, I don't think. She looked a little miffed at the end of that game. Now, is she superstitious? <laughs> <laughs> I think she is one of those players. So many are, aren't they? <laughs> That was a very strange direction she took when she walked out of the chair. Third highest ranked uh, teenager in the uh, WTA top 100. So many, of course, coming through at the moment. Really exciting times on the WTA circuit. I suppose what I meant with the, the question I was asking you in, in terms of is this the ideal player to play against because Stritzova you kind of know what you're going to get she's going to chase everything down she's going to mix up the spins she's going to be in your face and so with someone like Anna Samova whose game as you say is very rhythmical it's whether or not she can stay calm emotionally to get through this encounter 
Yeah, I think she's a very, very different type of player. It's a rarity on the tour, a player like this. Wow, that's a Thank stunning you. strike, isn't it? Really got a weight behind that ball. Really got the, seat, the, the feet set. Body weight going forward behind that one, but just really striking through that ball. You can see when she connects with the ball, you know, that sort of sings off the strings, doesn't it? That ball's not coming back. And also the kind of serve volley that she was looking for there. You could sense that Anna Samova may have just caught that out of the corner of her eye, just put her off that return of serve. There's the little shoulder roll just before she goes into that service motion. Yeah, she's talked about that as a, as a process, hasn't she, in terms of just to settle her down before the point. We've already mentioned how emotional she can get in matches. Yeah, I guess it's, as you say, it's a process that just tries to calm her emotions down because you want to be totally in control when you walk up to that line to serve. And also you want your shoulders to be loose. You don't want any tension running through them. That arm to be really loose. And again, looking for that serve volley. Very smart tennis player, isn't she? She's a really good thinker out there and certainly makes the opponents think. There it is again. <laughs> I can get used to that. Ah, that's well dealt with. There's a similar ball on the forehand side in the previous game, but no mistake on that time with the backhand and backs up the break for a two-love lead. Now she's got all the tricks in the business, strips of it. Well, also she brings a certain energy and personality onto a court, doesn't she? You know you're going to have a, a rough ride, that she's going to fight for everything. She, she's a real lover of the sport, I think. That was just long. So the call overturned. Second. an absolute rocket of a forehand from Anna Samoa. Well, she's got that kind of technique which just makes her look so secure. You almost feel like she's never going to miss a ball like that. And you can see she takes it just at the right height, strikes right through the centre of that ball. Lovely weight transference. Exactly why Strips of is tough to play. Rock solid from the baseline, able to deal with the pace and power of her American opponent. 
Well, also, I think uh, going back to this court and the conditions here, Pete, you can see how if you set up for the ball and then it's not quite in the right position, that ball just takes off from the strings. And uh, that one left the strings pretty quickly for Anissa Maven. She's not a player that you would describe as erratic by any stretch of the imagination. Well, I watched her warming those up this morning. She did a lot of drop shots off both the forehand and the backhand. So uh, already come into play. Gets over the line in the game. So Anna Samova gets herself on the board. It's Stritzova though who leads by two games to one. Stay, stay, more balls. Wait for your when you can attack. Good. Yeah, it's okay. You have your, your chance, you will use them and you... Yeah, 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 она она Нет, потому что ты должен... Ты стараешься сейчас больше отойти, когда она играет глубокий мяч, отойди два шага назад и тогда удари. Да, и дай больше ей двигаться, потому что сейчас ты двигаешь, ты играешь в центр корта и ты двигаешься. Сыграй больше углов, да, сыграй косей сюда справа туда чтобы она двигалась то что она сейчас играет она только поставляет ракетку и использует твою скорость хорошо сыграть может через центр быстро сыграть и потом разыграть вправо влево хорошо и не спеши все хорошо да и дыши дыши take your time everything is good all right I know all the time positive move your feet I want to hear that your feet is moving all right good job come on Stay focused. Right. So Amanda Anasimova calling her coach onto the court very early, of course. That's the first time that players can call their coach onto the court. Now with uh, Andis Yuska. There's a mix of English and Russian. That's a some backhand from the middle of the court for Manson over. Yeah, she managed to just get enough on this backhand to use that left hand to just dip that ball and made that volley a tiny bit trickier. You can see it was just underneath the net tape. Mind you, Stritz will be a bit disappointed not to have made that one. Anasimova made the return here, so it is being challenged by Stritzova, but if it has caught the line, it will just be a first serve again. It's called wide. And it was a good line call, because it was just by a whisker wide. So it will be a second serve for the Czech. Two millimetres. Deadly accurate right into the corner from Anna Samova. Or was it? The ball was called Eden. Well, it was a very good strike, wasn't it? Really well directed forehand, but it was right towards the back edge of that line. Stritzova gave it a long, hard look, then decided to challenge. Let's take a look. Yeah, right plum on the line. So the fine margins going Anna Samova's way in this game. Love Legend. Miss Stritzova has one challenge remaining.
Go back to what the uh, coach said in terms of the, the English that we picked up. Wait for the moment when you can attack. Be patient and be positive after each point. So fairly simple advice. Yeah, it was good advice though, wasn't it? And take your time and I think he added on move your feet, which is always good to remember to do that. Yeah, finds the pass. Oh, she moved her feet on that one, didn't she? And when a player is attacking the net as much as Stritzer is, that ball is coming through that much quicker. You have to adjust the rhythm of the match. It's very different to a baseline encounter. So you can see here she's having to make those adjustments with the feet. Really got set up beautifully there. Nice balance on that backhand. Thirteen forty. One break point saved, still want to negotiate. see the disappointment after missing that return there's a couple of returns that have come off those strings really quickly well, she's already for me shown quite a lot of emotion we saw it even in the first game we of course had a little bit of luck against her with regards to the net courts It's been a, an emotional Advantage few months for Anna Samova. Father passing away in August last year. But then, of course, uh, there's been a lot of change with the coaches and the coaching setup. Carlos Rodriguez was hired, and then Andis Yuska brought in for this week. Don't know the setup as of yet. Well, there you can see the racket's gone and it's been given a bit of a kicking. So, uh, certainly very emotional out here. And she was a little bit emotional, as I said before, in the practice session. So her mood wasn't the most positive in this match. And I think, um, you know, she's pretty harsh on herself because the conditions are tricky here. And uh, players are their own harshest critics, aren't they? Well, I, I was fortunate enough to stay in the same hotel as Anna Samova when she had that brilliant run to the semi-final of the French Open and her mum was in and around it and when she lost the, the semis to Ash Barty, her mum said she didn't leave her room, couldn't get her out of her room for, for almost two days. That's great hitting from Anna Samova, but the due to just being so upset at losing that match whereas everyone else was talking about what an incredible run and performance it was from her but it shows you just how much she wants it and, uh, and that, that's probably going to be a challenge Annabelle isn't it throughout her yeah. career in terms of not wanting it too much emotionally and also being able to deal with those emotions and stay calm and positive because there's no doubt about her talent in terms of what she can produce on the court She showcased oh. well. I was just about to say she showcased in that game. I was a little premature, and so was uh, Amanda Anisimova. Thought she'd Anisimova made it. Was heading to the change of events, but it's been called like wide. That. Well, she'd the done all the hard out. work, set the point up so well, and actually looked a tiny bit casual on that backhand, didn't she? I think even Barbara Stritzer thought that point and game was over. Well, we can take it all back because it's actually in anyway. <laughs> so well played. <laughs> so she was right to head to the sit down. 
Game service hold for Anisimova. Fascinating start to this first round encounter. Streets of a leading by three games to two. Well, Streets of a doing a good job of. Uh, what she does best out on a court, just mixing things up. She's throwing a bit of serve volley. We've seen a bit of everything from her already in this match. A few slice backhands. And actually, so far, what she's been doing has got into the head of Anna Samova just a little bit, hasn't it? But I think, f for me, I don't know about you, Pete, it's going to be all about Anna Samova's emotions, managing it, keeping a lid on all of that, and trying to stay positive. Because there's no question when she connects with the ball, she's got all, far more weight of shot and uh, the ability to really strike through the court. Yeah, no, I mean, it also, I mean, do, you, do you feel with Stritzova, she's had success here in the past, do you think one of the reasons is because of her fantastic hand skills? You mentioned the fact that the, the ball can travel and fly through the air and, and it can do different things off the surface, so being able to have those hand skills, is, do you think that's one of the reasons why I she do. has played well? Yeah, I think that's a really good point, and I think, you know, if you've got that kind of versatile wrist where you can make adjustments to what's going on, that's half the battle here, isn't it? And we often see balls flying in the first couple of days, particularly off returns of serve, if they're not in position, you know, just getting used to it. Time. Well, Annabelle's just saying at the sit-down in terms of this match, perhaps all about the emotions of Alison Mola, whether she can deal with it. I mean, we've mentioned a few times the tragic passing away of her father, but also the fact that she switched coaches. So trying to get your emotions right, you just wonder about the trust that she will have with people around her right now, which is also why it's going to be absolutely fascinating. But in terms of working with a new coach, I mean, he sounded like he said all the right things when he when he came on court just then. But but in terms of that trust, it takes a, a long time. I think it's a good point because, um, as you said, there's been a couple of sh coaching shifts in quite a short space of time, and it does take time to build up that relationship. But I thought he was very clear in what he said, put it across well. Sometimes I think you know players are emotional, and sometimes it can just be the way that a player, or sorry, a coach speaks to you. It can irritate you, <laughs> so they've got to get that right as well. There are some players that don't like certain language used. You know, I know one player that didn't like the word aggressive used. Had to be proactive. <laughs> Who'd be a coach? <laughs> I know it's not easy <laughs> to get the balance right. Well, there's a little fist pump from Barbara Stritz of a very nicely placed serve, well directed, and that didn't come back. Makes me want to roll my shoulders <laughs> before we do commentary. <laughs> That's an extraordinary return, isn't it? It's a very good serve from Stritz of a ping to the feet. Well, again, when she does connect with it and gets behind that ball, look at that. Really came through the court very well, even though she tried to get her knees down low. Couldn't control the racket face. And wants another ball now. That's the thing about this court. If you use the shinier ball, you're going to get that little bit more pace on it. Wow, and there's another. This time off the forehand side. Well, starting to really connect with some of these returns of serve. Really gets behind that one. Open space. Break point. Oh, 
at the moment. I don't do think that's going to be helping her emotions. Just hasn't taken advantage of the opportunities she's created in the first six games. No, I agree with you. And he, when he came on the court, he was saying to her, patience, wasn't he? And that was a prime example of just going for too much too soon in the rally. Another break point for Anisimova. That's Fabio Tennis again. Such clean ball striking once more uh, for Manasimova. Well, it's almost difficult for Stritzova to get a rhythm out here as well, isn't it? Because it's been fluctuating with this ability to really push her behind that baseline and outmaneuver her. Look how far behind that Dubai sign she is on the court. Not where she wants to be playing her tennis in this match. But it has been interspersed with kind of some unforced errors and miscues. Another break point here, though. Let's facilitate. missing that's now four yes. break points in this match that have come and gone for Anissa Moven if you remember the one time she was broken she had a number of game points in that game as well so at the moment the big points are just going the way of strits of it A long game this one. Fourth break point of the game for the American. You know what they say, fourth time's a charm. Oh. That's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon find out, Fran okay. over. And it is a charm for Anderson Moven. Not so for Stritzova with the double fault, gifting the break back. Again, body language doesn't look all that great for the 18-year-old, but inside she'll be happy that she is back level pegging in this first set. Uh, and this Yuska on the right there, new coach. Oh. Love to work with Ostapenko. Uh, now 
our new coach, of course. And a Samova worked with Carlos Rodriguez from September until the beginning of this month. But after losing the first round of the Australian Open, clearly feeling that something wasn't right. Well, this isn't unusual. Talked about Ansamova perhaps not looking as happy as she usually does. This is pretty standard stuff for Stritzova. Well, the gap was there. That ball was quite high bouncing, wasn't it? So she kind of lent in. You, I can understand why she went for that one, but again, just losing control. And uh, a few more unfair forced errors than we were expecting. So just when she's fought so hard to get things back on track, she will not want to let things slip in this service game. Quite like the combination of the, the, the heavy kick serve and then the drop shot, but she didn't get it right at all. Anna Samova, and here's the chance for Stritzova to get that break back. I've just been informed that there's a little bit of wind out there, a little bit of breeze in the court, but more to the effect of the players. 34 degrees on court. Yeah, that's pretty hot, isn't it? Right, as you said, in the middle of the day. But not such hot tennis on that occasion from Anna Samova and having worked so hard to get New that break bodies. back again the emotions not looking great for the American frustration for the 18 year old as it's Stritzova who breaks again now for a 4-3 lead well she looks a little slumped in the chair doesn't she after that game and uh, right from the word go she has been incredibly emotional out here yes it's very hot and you can see she's uh, sort of uh, making a feelings felt towards her support camp in the corner there so it can't be easy for them as well watching her emotions on the court in this match and she just doesn't look settled or happy you know here her mind seems very clouded in the decision making and what she's doing on this court yeah and, and well it was from almost the third or fourth point she was shaking her head so it does feel that this has been something off court that she's taken onto the court but we've got to remember she's 18 years of age and, and that can happen with teenagers in terms of different emotional effects there's not about her talent she's a supreme player when she gets it right but uh, of course has to to try and get it right she'll know that she's one of the, the most talented players on tour and it's then dealing with that level of expectation which is so tough having of course reached the semi-finals of the French Open become a a title winner in Bogota, youngest player, to youngest American to do that since Serena Williams. So there's a lot Time. to be expected of her. That was the youngest at the time, of course. Coco Goff has gone and set that new record. So we've seen three breaks of serve in this opening set. Two to Stritzova. And that's why she has the lead here at 4-3. Also has new balls. Well, one thing she has done particularly well out here is pass, isn't she? When uh, Stritzov has come at her at the net, she hasn't panicked. She's taken her time on those passing shots, got the footwork just right. And you can see that dipping shot making... Either the half volley or the volley, very tricky for Stritzova. It's more the returns of serve today, isn't it, that she's really struggled with? I can see banging the strings. Well, they've either flown in or flown out, haven't they? Yeah. 
It's almost as if she's not trusting herself when she's going after those returns. Well, that is annoying, isn't it? When you're just kind of taking control of the set and then suddenly just a couple of double faults just creeping in. There you can see the returns made. 89% for Stritzova. Look at that, Anna Samova, 63%. So that's the difference there in the two players off return. And you can see how her body kind of squares up to it. Not quite in the right position, is she? Well, as you were saying, you know, you've, you've hit on these courts in terms of the ball can really fly, can't it? In terms of off that return, as in to get the top spin, you need to follow through and trust your, your swing. You sometimes feel at the moment that if she's not sure whether to fully swing through or sort of block. Well, you end up kind of pushing it and mm. she's still swinging at it. But if you don't commit emotionally to it, it's very difficult. It's a really nice drive volley, just got a footwork right, right, was patient, and another wonderful connection. Well, we haven't seen too many volleys from Anna Samova, but the few times she's ventured up there for the drive volley, she's made no mistake about it. Nice technique on that, takes it quite high out of the air. And there's a good sign, a little bit of a celebration, something positive. the emotions for Anderson Mova. You'd almost say straight to the last player you want to play if you are having a bit of a, an emotional up and down day because she knows how to frustrate opponents in terms of the mix and spins and speed. And the ability to get the ball back in play. Another missed return Advantage for the American. Sister. Seem to get caught in two minds there, and some over it whether to take a ball out of the air. Made the wrong decision and ends up losing the point, and with it loses the game. Another opportunity miss for the 18-year-old. Well, Stritzov is at the back of the court taking some shade, and it looks like Anna Samova's gone to change her racket because uh, she's not been happy with that racket for quite some time. In fact, for most of this first set. So I don't know whether she's going to loosen the strings or t I would say tighten it. Mm. I would say, but. Uh, yeah, probably needs a little bit more tension there. Try and control that ball a little bit better. And of course we had new balls at the start of the last game. That may be one of the reasons why she switched rackets here for the serve in particular. Love it really that. full commitment to that shot from Anna Samova. No, I'm not sure that's going to improve the mood. Yeah, the body language has become very, very negative. Well, I'm not sure what that was. Oh. 
Yeah, that is uh, Diego Dinomo. Now working with Barbora Stritzova. Led to persistence. Generally seen a bit more of a psychologist than a coach that to those that I've chatted about. You know, uh, Andrea Sestini Flavachkova was a big fan of his when she worked with him. A wonderful rally, and this time it goes the way of Anna Simova. 40, 15. Yeah, she hung in there in this rally, didn't she? Not the easiest of volleys. Strength of her scampering around, making her play that extra shot, but stayed calm on that one. Got enough top gun on it to dip it onto the line. It's time to look at frustration from Stritzova. Anna Samova keeping herself in this opening set. We'll ask the question of her opponent as to whether Stritzova can serve it out. She's doing a good job of just sort of lingering around in this first set and just kind of keeping the scoreline as tight as she can, but she's still struggling to find her A game out here. It's been a, a real struggle right from the start of the match, but, um, you know, I, I have no doubt that she can bring that level up. Yeah, and uh, I, I think just before the match, I think emotions were always going to be absolutely key against uh, someone like Barbora Stritzova who can junk an opponent around, and we've seen many players lose their emotions against the Czech because she gets the ball back, she puts different spins on it, she puts you in different positions, she can then suddenly throw in a serve and volley. And this is why it's absolutely vital that Anna Samova understands that if she makes mistakes, she, she can't get too annoyed, but that's easier said than done, easier said that up here. Yeah, it's always easier to play armchair tennis, isn't it? <laughs> but um, I think when you sort of add into the equation a little bit of breeze, very hot day, balls flying a little bit, trying to get used to the conditions. Maybe didn't sleep well, I don't know. Time. But a tight opening set. Anna Samova has had plenty of chances to break the uh, strits of a serve, but only one break so far. But she'll be hoping she can create some more breakpoint opportunities here as Stritzova comes out to try and serve for this first set. 5-4. Well, that's been called wide. I think Anna Samova is going to challenge. Loved it. Or is she? Well, that's a surprise. I thought for sure she was going to challenge Ladies that one. Ladies and gentlemen, Oh. Ah, there we go. So Stritzova touched the ball, reaching up for the volley. So the point goes the way of Anna Samova. Just clipped it there. Oh, 
That's quality ball striking. Love and again, Anisimova with that backhand, whipping it down to the feet of Stritzova. Yeah, it's that same shot, isn't it, where she really gets her feet set, really uses that left hand just to dip that ball, the ability just to put a little bit of spin on that ball, making that volley quite tricky. That's always annoying, isn't it? <laughs> you set up for the serve, bounce the ball. I don't know if it hit her foot, did it? But uh, yeah, got the ball preparation all wrong there. Ball. Let for service. So it's a let anyway. I'm not sure. Got to be quick here with the challenge, deciding against it. The umpire had actually caught it in initially, but. The call was late, so it will be a second serve here for the Czech. Oh. There wasn't a lot on the second serve, Love and Anna Samova taking full advantage. Well, we've seen the racket going from Anna Samova's side of the court. Now it's Stritzova's turn. Not having it her way, trying to serve out this first set. So Almost looks a little bit looser in the shoulders, doesn't she, Anna Samova? A little bit more relaxation, a bit more free-flowing. She hasn't had a lot of luck on the break Anissimo. points, but takes that one and breaks to love. Five so Anna Samova, again, getting back level to 5-all, but she's yet to take the lead in this set. And if you remember last time she broke the strips of a serve, was broken straight away in the next game. So the American will be hoping Lightning doesn't strike twice here. Well, Annabelle talked about the fact that Anna Samova looked a little more relaxed, certainly helping her game there. Nice, calm, smooth ball striking, just getting herself up the court. Well, her level is definitely creeping up, and she's starting to find her range, her rhythm. She seemed a little bit calmer now, got things under control. Oh, that's game. a great serve to finish that game. Miss has so that's eight points in a row for Anna Samova. Broke to love and then holds to love for a 6-5 lead. Making you unstable with her forehand. With the backhand, you're okay. Of course, she's killing the ball, but with the backhand, you're okay. I didn't make one ball from 5-4. Okay. So well, how do I do one ball? But she's killing 8, 70, 80 percent with her forehand. And she's taking risks because you were, you were so good from everywhere. Okay. And then she takes, she took the risk and she got it. Now with the serve, what I was saying is, you serve body or backhand, and you only serve forehand if you really see it, like after three or four points, but you don't serve mainly to the forehand because she's taking all the risk. Okay, so you serve body or backhand, and it's good when you go to the net, but if we can, we go mainly to yeah, I didn't uh, make one backhand. point from the net. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah but you were there. You, well, she passed. She passed you uh, at one point. She was lucky. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, yeah, don't. But one point, don't about the other nine, it was not lucky. Okay, that's why we need to try to, to, you know, we need to try to put a little bit more game on her, on her backhand. And of course, if by any chance we cannot do it, we mix it up. We, we put a slice, we put a drop shot, we put a higher ball. But we don't play forehand, forehand with her. Time. Come on. Well, always so interesting to hear from uh, a coach, Diego Dinamo, with uh, some words of advice, talking about not getting into the exchange of the forehand side of Anisimova, talking about serving to the backhand side more, serving and volleying to the backhand more. Uh, but also Stritzva not happy, she's never afraid to, to say what she thinks, talking about how she's been getting passed every time she's come to the net. Well, one of the uh, crucial bits of information was he did not want her to go forehand to forehand. He wanted her to get back to that uh, original game plan, which was mixing it up, throwing in some slices. But also, if she had a choice to go into that backhand side, which was interesting. She was giving him quite a hard time, wasn't she, <laughs> in the yeah. change of ends? You have to love the line, wasn't it? As in, uh, well, it, she got a little lucky with one of the passes, and Stritzova then replied, well, what about the other nine? <laughs> I know. Yeah, it wasn't an easy chat for him, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, following her coach's orders, but it's a supreme backhand from Anna Samova that finds the line. Well, you could hear Stritz of a little bit sarcastic because she's right near her coach and she went, yeah, good idea going to the backhand. So he won't be sitting there too comfortably right now. Of course, we talked about the trust trying to be built up for Anasimova. Similar sort of situation for Stritzova. Only uh, been working with Dinamo since the end of the last year. I feel as if there's a bit of a pressure cooker down the other end that's about to explode at the moment. Stritzer has had the score line the whole way through this first set, hasn't she, for 56 minutes. And now teetering on the edge of perhaps losing this first set. But you'd love that back and back again, Alice Amova. Well, you can see just how uh, gusty this wind is, and that's why she's aborted a few ball tosses out here. So conditions getting a little more difficult. Game. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster this opening set. There's a lot riding on it, you feel, with both what they have put into it, and it's going to be settled on the tiebreak.
one to zero. Stritzova. One but I have a thick skin, I would imagine, <laughs> because <laughs> to, to work with strits of it, it's only got to, you're going to have to be able to take some of the things she will say, but at least you know where you stand with her. Always very honest to her, her coaches. Time violation, one of the of it. That's not going to help her either. Time violation. Definitely not. Spent so much time berating herself, it's ended up penalising her. Well, nearly made a mess of it, but gets there in the end, Anna Samova. And again, strips of it, too not too happy. And he's not well, she's getting more and more vocal down the other end, and uh, that's only going to help Anna Samova because if she knows how much it's frustrating, Stritzova down there. Bit of rat a tat tat at the net there from both of them. Oh, superb defence from Stritzova turning. That defence into attack in just a couple of shots. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Seeing her doubled over there. You can see how that ball gets away from her. Quite high bouncing on this court. So if you get it sort of to really pull out wide with that trajectory. But you can see, I don't know whether that's the heat that's troubling her. Been an hour exactly on the clock now in this tie break. Oh, no. Oh. Well, that maybe was a little bit of tiredness Three in the legs. Two. I've yet to see a point won by the server in this tie break. One hour on the clock already, still in this opening set. It's the first time a player has won a point on serve. So now again, work to do for Anna Samova, who, other than leading at 6-5, was trailing for the entirety of this set. It will be a body blow for whoever loses it, as we see the, uh, the unusual ways that Stritzova seems to dodge lines or whatever she's doing out there. Yes, yeah. Took a detour there to get back to the baseline. Actually, um, Nadal does a little bit of that to get back to the change of ends, mm. doesn't he? Well, this is extraordinary, Straight isn't it? You know, having almost come so close, you can see it very emotional, almost in tears, but just struggling to get the ball in the court. I'm so close to closing out this first set. And now, danger of handing it across just through errors. that one as well. 
six two. It's been strange, hasn't it? In a way, as you say, worked so hard to to get back in this set, and then suddenly has just completely lost her range in this tiebreaker, and it's four set points for the world number thirty five. Six three. Well, also, it's the emotion of knowing that with this kind of heat, you know, and she's clearly struggling. We've seen her doubled over. The fact that if she doesn't win this first set, the emotion of having to know that you've got to dig deep physically to try and play another two sets in these kind of hot conditions. Set that it could have gone either way. Baseline. Looks like it has gone the way of Barbora Stritzova. We will wait because Anna Samova has challenged, but it, it looked long. Stritzova is pretty confident heading to the sit down. So it is Barbora Stritzova who takes the opening set by seven games to six after an hour and four minutes. Game for set to Stritzova. By seven games to six. Some of them may have called the trainer on as we will take a look at some of these highlights on the opening set. There are a fair few of them. So we thought the trainer might have been called on. No tr sign of the trainer as of yet. Diana Samova. But that certainly will be very frustrated at dropping that opening set, having been a break down a couple of times. Took it to a tiebreaker before uh, ending up losing it in the seven point shootout. meditating going on on the other side there with Stritzova. So she really scrapped her way through that first set, didn't she? Neither player really playing their best tennis in, in this match, neither playing at the same time as well. But uh, Stritzova, he just managed to get more balls back into court and played the better tennis at the key moments. And Anna Samova, her game just deserted Second herself, didn't, she, didn't it, in that tie break? Well, it's just when we were saying it looked like she got on top of her emotions again and seemed to have got into a better rhythm. And hasn't really looked all that settled in the hour and seven minutes that we've been playing for. Let for service. may make her feel a little better.
Lovely. Well, it's so hard to get over the line in the first set. This would not be the start that Stritzova would have wanted in the second set. The meditation didn't work. It seems three break points for Anna Samova. Well, one area, I know we've already talked about it, Pete, but that's the one area that I think if she could just clean up of her game in this match, it, it would make such a huge difference. But it's the return of serve that seems to be all over the place, doesn't it? There's no level of consistency to it, and she just doesn't seem to trust herself on it. Well, we haven't really seen any different types of return of serve. There's doesn't seem like she's tried to block it or slice it. It's it's all, you know, big big cuts at the ball, and as I say, it's either flying in or flying out. And the minute you start to pull back and sort of push it a little bit, then that can sometimes make it even worse. You can see she tried to take a bit of pace off that one, and even that one swerved out. Chasing that ball all the way, wasn't she? And just managed to get Press the footwork behind that ball to get the body weight behind it. Excellent strike, that one. Well, that ought to improve her mood just a little bit. A stunning shot. But again, no real positive reaction after the, the shot from Anna Samova. Well, she's kind of looked a little fed up, hasn't she, right from the start of this match? Well, she did, as you said, looked a bit fed up in the practice session this morning. Maybe she just got out of bed the wrong side. Is of course still very young, only 18 years of age, turns 19 in August this year. I didn't quite get the drop shot right, and it's a over and strips of it. He's rapid around the court onto it in a flash. She backs up the break. You just hope that she is aware of Stritzova's record in terms of digging in and hanging in there. Stritzova, who lost the last four matches of 2019. She's only won one out of three tournaments this year. It's been a good response, though, from the American. Yeah, it certainly has. And, uh, you know, almost the opposite of what I would have expected, to be honest, how disappointed she was towards the end of that tie break. And actually, she's brought some intensity back into her tennis again and the opposite going on down the other end. Let's
Lobotini. Love well, it's almost as if the losing the first set has just calmed her down somewhat again. It was smart tennis from Anna Samova. Didn't try and overhit on an awkward ball. Hasn't really changed his uh, position or the poker face very much from Dinomo. Again, she'd done all the hard work, setting up the point, constructing it so well. Just that final finish wasn't quite there. She kind of uses a little bit of a wrist snap, doesn't she, on that forehand. Really has a great impact through the court. Awesome ball striking from Anna Samova. 15, 14. Just powering her way through Stritzova's defence. It's another Game. fine return from Anasimova as the American breaks again. It's been a superb response in this second New set Buffalo from the 18-year-old. Opens up a three-love lead. Can you please? Could you please check? Because they are really slow. Could you please check? Thank you. Check. Well, I said it three times. Well, she's having her momentum now. Definitely hitting from everywhere. Okay. I don't know if we can make it this this set, but if not for the next one, we, we need to try. We need to try to put the ball away from her somehow, make, making wrong. making her no, run no. run. It's not possible. No, no. It's wrong what you're saying. If I make her run, then I am running all the time. So if I play middle, the long middle, then it's much better. Then if she's long, she's long arms. Exactly. So she's yeah, but, here, but then you're telling me to, to make her run. It's wrong. Well, now she's hitting it from everywhere, not only forehand. She's she's comfortable now. She's receiving all the yeah, balls. And why? How come? Because, because, because I play slow and short. No, no, because she's receiving all the balls here at the waist high. Yeah, because you know? I so play long, short, and, sh and uh, slow. No, Okay, but it's not a bad idea to play middle if you can mix it up. It's not a bad idea. But if we cannot, because she's strong... Are you telling me to serve backhand, but then uh, I don't think it's right, right to serve backhand? Well, when, well, when you do, it works. From every ball, oh. so. There is someone going to the stringer to see if the racket is ready. Well, again, and another fascinating exchange with Diego... Di Nomo with uh, Stritzova. He was talking to the Czech as we hear uh, this exchange going on to do with the racket, I think, and stringing. I know, I understand. 
and they Stritsova very frustrated because I think she's asked for, for a racket tension being strong and it's taken some time. And so that's a little bit of an annoyance for the Czech, but more annoying for her that she's three love down in this second set. We'll go over what was said with the coach in just a few moments' time. It's a good start to this game from Alice Mova. Basically, Dinomo was saying, make her move, don't hit straight to her. Whereas Stritzva was arguing, well, if I, I, I make her move, it opened up the angles. So that's why I've been going down the middle to take the angles away. And Dinomo. That's well played from Stritzva, but Dinomo and uh, Stritzva, well. <laughs> He said, it's okay to get down the middle, but you have to mix it up, not hit it to the to the, the waist height, mix up the spins and the speed. So we saw a bit of a mix up here from the Czech. What did you make of all of that, Annabelle? Oh, it was fascinating. Basically, I think uh, what we can say quite safely is that everything he said, she disagreed with. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't a good chat. Yeah, she basically said, everything you've told me, if I go to the back end, that doesn't work. You know, you've told me to move around. I move more and I have to run more if if I do that. I want to go down the middle. Oh, it was it was a difficult chat. Some players 15, 15. do like the fact that they can bounce ideas off one another in terms of coaching wise. Well, there's Clark Francis, the chief of uh, ball kids and runs the tennis academy here. And does a brilliant job training all these kids here that uh, run around so effectively picking up the balls for these players. Fifteen forty. Beautifully done from Anna Samova. 30, 40. Now that little drop shot's starting to become quite effective, isn't it, from Anna Samova? You can see plays with a lot of height but lots of feel. That's so brilliant. much better from her. Taking charge, commanding the court, bossing the points once again. And again, taking uh, charge of the point, and it's over. Simone. I mean, with regards to that coaching exchange, Anna, but it's not always the worst thing in terms of to have an argument like that, in terms of because at least he's offering something different, gives us something different to think about. Well, I'm not sure, Pete. I just feel as if she's battling against him at the same time as trying to play this tennis match. So it then becomes a two-way battle because you're actually trying to prove the coach is wrong on the sideline. And so she's distracted with all of that going on. And you can see every point she's turning at him, got something to say. And he can't be sitting there too comfortably yes. right now. And she's got such a feisty personality, you know, which is great in so many ways. I mean, she's a fun character, but I would imagine she's pretty tricky to coach. So the trust takes a, a little bit of time to build up and Stritzova hasn't had the best of results so far in 2020 so that will have been an issue since they have formed the relationship well I guess you also uh, need to feel that you trust the information that's coming at you at the mm. moment it feels like she's just battling it and arguing with it and not not agreeing with any of it let's
Just a few times. Anna Samova has just gone down on her haunches after playing a point. Just wonder whether she is carrying something, either an injury or or an illness, or is just struggling to deal with the heat. Something we'll certainly keep an eye on. Still able to play points like that, though. Yes. Just seems to be a little more controlled aggression from Anna Samova in this set. Yeah, I agree with you. It just feels like she's uh, calmed down quite a bit from that first set and uh, getting more balls into play, a little bit more sort of uh, discipline behind the shots. Advantage, and he's more ball. That's excellent tennis, again, but again, look at the reaction over. after the point. <laughs> Nevertheless, still able to hold serve and opens up a four love lead now in set two. Yeah, I wonder whether this heat is getting to her. I mean, and it's not that it's for four games to look. see her sort of uh, acting like this, where you feel like those legs have just lost energy in them. Don't want too many long points, that's for sure. How much Stritzova is aware of that down the other end? A lot again on the serve. 15. And Samova just deciding to do what she does best. Terrific adjustment, wasn't it, on the forehand just to open Love the court the up? Yeah, that was a really clever shot, wasn't it? Took all the pace off the ball, but got at a very good angle. Enough spin, used her wrist to kind of get that ball cross court with a cute short angle and then really struck into that open space. Didn't doubt herself on that one. She's taking more care in these shots, isn't she? 15, 30. I think that's what's been lacking in her game in the last what 20 minutes or so Stritz of us kind of pulled back a little bit it feels on serve less accuracy with the placement of it not really got three points off it but a little bit more on that last serve
Okay. Well, more Anis disappointment Nova. for Svitsa, but as Anisimova breaks for a third time in this second Anis set. A game away now from taking us the distance. Leads five love. Well, you always couldn't have uh, two more contrasting first two sets. Almost as if she has got so little energy out here, Pete and Samova, that all of that emotion has just gone. She hasn't even got the energy to get emotional out here. But uh, it's focused her mind, hasn't it, on getting a lot of balls back into play. She's much calmer on everything. Better decision making. I think that's a great point. I couldn't agree more, to be honest. I think almost the lack of energy has helped her because she hasn't got the energy to get frustrated. And in doing so, as you say, playing so much more almost sensible tennis playing with margin not going too big but it'll be fascinating to see if this does go the distance whether it continues like that or, or we see more emotions come in time first match here at the 20th anniversary of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships in Dubai and are we heading to a third set Anna Samova will hope so up five love serving for it Let's Let's That was very interesting from Alison over there. 40. Chasing down that ball, almost just seemed to stop. Dropped her racket on, on the, the ground. Certainly seems to be struggling with energy, Alison over, but chance here for Stritzova to get one of the breaks back. Mistake again 15, on the drive forward. 14. Games. Oh, didn't even reach the net. There's definitely something not quite right and with Anna Samova. A couple of unusual points in the game. But Stritzova is still in the set as she gets one of the three breaks back needed. Yeah, she just looks as if she's gone a little lethargic, doesn't she? Legs haven't quite got fired up with energy. Also, when you're trying to finish points early in the rally, it's a sure sign you just don't want to be doing a lot of running.
Titula. Good length. Yeah, some over. yeah, she does tend to sort of uh, go for the lines, doesn't she? It has great length on all of her ground strokes, tends to really go after that ball, as we say, that little bit of a snap on that wrist as she hits the ball. Let's see. Strange run of points again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was game from. Anna Samova, and look at that from Stritzova. She still believes she can turn this set around. He's still alive in it, although Anna Samova has the lead, 5-2. Physio is on. I mean, it, it's hardly surprising. She is walking over to Anna Samova, who has just looked like she's really struggled throughout the set, despite the scoreline. doctor being called here so it, it's clearly something we were thinking she wasn't feeling too well but, uh, well I mean it, ju it just looks like she's en energy sapped let's try and listen in if we can out to maybe take her blood pressure pulse I think she's just feeling a bit overheated to be honest there's the temperature being taken in her ears I don't think she's felt well for quite a long time and maybe Annabelle this when you just say that in terms of uh, you don't think she was well for quite a long time maybe this was why we saw her so emotional in the first set it might have been something that she had before she got out on court and that the frustrations of not feeling that well but she was moving better in the first set and it's just seemed completely energy zapped in the second set but it's as, as you said earlier on it seemed to help her almost control her emotions and therefore control the ball a little bit better she is up five two has the ice towel yeah, it looks as if they're going to mix up some sort of electrolyte drink for her. But you can see that sort of uh, expression says it all, doesn't it? She's really not feeling very well, certainly not enjoying herself out here, even though she's in control of this second set. She's done so well to get herself in the lead. 
after the disappointment of coming so close to closing out that first set. Came within two points, didn't she? Yeah. And, um, and you, you, you've had hits here as well in the past, haven't you, Annabelle? And you, you said yourself it's very, very difficult conditions. It's brutal. I mean, not only from a heat point of view. I mean, I lasted about 10 minutes. I can honestly say it was just exhausting. It's a kind of heat that you really do need to train and get used to. But it's also the fact that the, the, the surface of the court, and it almost feels like um, you're playing an altitude here in Dubai. So the ball does really take off from the strings quite quickly. You need to adjust to that. And it takes a couple of days to get used to it. But uh, I think, you know, the, the fact that we've talked for the whole match that the ball is flying off her strings on return of serve, you don't think of her as being an erratic player at all. But, you know, I think she's just found that really tricky today. I can confirm, everyone, by the way, that Annabelle Croft is still very fit because all the fitness sessions since we've been <laughs> here, well, I think you've had four already. Have I? Yeah, you've been counting. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm still on zero. Them. I didn't think you'd quite like the bar ballet, Pete. <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't I, think that was quite your yeah. thing. <laughs> maybe, I enjoyed maybe, it. Maybe I'll try later on in the week. Yeah, you can come to yoga or body balance is the other class I've been enjoying here. But when you say last 10 minutes, that's why. I mean, that, that shows just how tough it is. But, uh, yeah, Anna Tomova has clearly found it difficult. But, I mean, the fact the scoreline's 5-2 here in the... The second set, you talked about the fact when she dropped the first set, that was going to be tough psychologically to think she's got to stay out in this heat to turn it around. But if she can sneak over the line here, then it will be a one-set shootout. Time. So for the second time this set, Anna Samova serving for it. After the, uh, the doctor has given her a little bit of treatment, perhaps dehydration, we're unsure, but it is 5-2. Well, I'm not sure that was good. I'm, I'm surprised if she doesn't challenge that. Am I wrong? It's miles out. Can't believe she didn't challenge that. That's extraordinary. Of course, for Stritzer, an yep. error like that will be so frustrating, knowing that Anna Samova is struggling. Cheap point to give away. Yeah, that's a quality point from Stritzer. Really gets a footwork underneath his smash, doesn't she? Snaps that wrist over the top, really well constructed point. Oh, that's a super shot from Alessandro. Might not be feeling well, but has the chance to get over the line in this second set. Well, maybe she is just going to take a few more risks on some mid-court balls there. Try and uh, 
get some quick winners. Doesn't want to run too much in this match. 131 kilometers an hour, that last winner. Game in second set. Does get over and the line. A lot with regards to the celebration for Anna Samova, I'm, I'm not sure there's that much energy in the system, but she somehow found a way to level this match up. Takes the second set, 6-2. Stritzova will be looking to react going into the third set as we take a look at some of the highlights from the second set, most of them coming from the Americans' racket. He had to be a little more aggressive due to the fact that she has been struggling with the heat, we believe. as well with the drop shot on the over. It's a good way of trying to shorten the point. Game in second set. I need some over. By six games to two. Confidence coming into this one, likely to have been low for Barbora Stritzova. I say was on a four-match losing streak, ending last year. He's only won one match this year. That was a win over Johanna Konta. He's lost three matches since Time then. Can she try and stay positive, though, as she heads into a, a deciding set here against Amanda Anasimova, who showed some fight in that second set. Final set. It's a fine way to start the set. One of the longer rallies that we've had in this match. And you'd imagine that is exactly the sort of point that Stritzova wants to play. Try and wear down Anasimova even more. America not quite getting the drop shot right on that occasion and a, a good put away from the Czech. Let for service. We've seen a fair few momentum shifts in this encounter, but it's always been tough to tell when they're going to come. It has been a very difficult match to read, hasn't it? And I'm sure it feels the same for both of them playing it. They will come off this court, whoever does end up winning it, feeling like it's been a very topsy-turvy match, rhythm-wise. And all players talk about wanting rhythm in a tennis match, and neither of them have really had that for the whole time they've been out here. Another beauty of a backhand, though, from Anna Samova. Well, Stritzova getting more and more animated down the other end, and uh, a lot of it is directed at her support camp. 
Dynamo. <laughs> Where's her heart on her sleeve? Overall from the chair. No challenge from Stritzova. So uh, another break point here for Anisimova. That's a break point she takes. And Spiss says it all. A lot calmer since the first set, minutes. perhaps due to the, the energy issues, but has taken the first set, first game, I should say, of the third set, and it is a break. Well, here's a look at the uh, set two stats then. A couple of double faults for Alison over. That's a percentage. Stritzel would probably like to get hers up just a little bit. Look at that difference in the winner count. Uh, over double for Anisimova, and the unforced error count fairly even in that department. Stritzova only converting one of uh, five, six break points that she uh, created for herself. So up against it a little bit, Stritzova here. That first set, she was kind of in control of it. Anisimova came back at her and nearly won it. Scrapped away, Stritzova, but uh, all of a sudden teetering here. Not this time. It's interesting Love though, Stritzer is still going quite often down the middle. I mean, you consider what we've seen from Anna Samova, the fact she's called the doctor on, the fact her coach has told her to try and Maneuver Anisimova out. She's sticking to her guns. Whether or not it's working, though, is a, another question. Well, I agree with you, and I think that um, Miss Coach probably is right, thinking that if the player is really the struggling physically, you need to make them move as much as you can. And Stritzova wasn't having any of it, really disagreed with that tactic. Have to be a fly on the wall in that conversation at the end of this match. Well, that's a Hawkeye challenge. That's out. 15. 15. Oh, going back to that conversation, I mean, Yugo Dimnomo, who is working with Stritzova now. I mean, I talked to, to Andrea Sestini Klavachkova about all of her coaches and she was actually so positive about the Argentine in terms of uh, what he brought to the court. And it's another fine winner from Anna but he, she was saying that he was more, in, the, in terms of his background, psychological and uh, getting her to, to focus on things that mattered. And uh, in terms of control the controllables, that famous quote, of course, So not so much from a tennis background when you consider he's not much of a, a history with regards to playing on the tour or anything like that. Oh, so you just wonder tactically, Fitch. that's why maybe there isn't the trust there from Stritzova when he comes and says something like that. Yeah, I think it's a really good point, Pete. It's a, a different approach, isn't it? And uh, we didn't hear too much psychological sort of uh, coaching going on at that corner. It was more sort of tactical, wasn't it? And she definitely didn't, didn't agree with most of it. Oh, it's a super Game. shot once Anisimova. again from Anisimova on the stretch. And then no reaction from the American, but she backs Anisimova up the break the for a two-love lead in the decider. 
Well, the rallies have started to get a little bit longer, haven't they? Just a touch, and it's Anna Samova that's sort of uh, ended up coming out on top of <laughs> most of them. She's starting to outmaneuver. Stritzova really starting to get her game going. She's flowing a little bit better. All of that emotion that we saw in the first set. She looks like a different person on the court. Different character out there. Players will often say, or players that I've talked to, Annabelle, I don't know how you, you think about this, when, when you feel ill on the court, that, that sometimes it helps you because it just means you stop focusing and over-worrying and overthinking. So I don't know whether that has been at play in this match with Anna Samova, but her improvement has, has been there for all to see with regards to since that first set where we did see all those emotions. that one a little too much Well, that's a better reaction, isn't it, right there? In the first set, she would have really sort of had a bit of a meltdown about that miss, but you could see, just thought about it for a moment, and then the little fist pump. Fourth double fault. Oh, in fact, a, a sixth double fault. I beg your pardon for Barbora Stritzova. Makes everyone work harder. Coaches, ball boys and girls as well. We've seen it before, haven't we? In particular, her run to the semi-finals at Wimbledon last year. Barbora Stritzova using the serve and volley to perfection. And gets herself on the scoreboard in the deciding set. Anna Samova, though, in front, 2-1. Sort of always has seemed in this match that the player that's behind in the score line suddenly relaxes, starts to kind of inject extra pace, extra energy into their legs. I mean, that was a much more energized game from Stritzova, wasn't it? He had the bit between the teeth, back to that sort of serve volley tactic that we saw right at the start of this match. When she kind of went away from all mm. of that. Well, yeah, we haven't. I mean, we, she had that debate slash argument with her coach in terms of about getting passed out the net and, and, and since then it, it seems like that 
had then made it up in her mind that she wasn't going to come forward. He was still encouraging her to get forward. And I completely agree with you, Annabelle, as in we haven't seen that tactic for a good while. And it worked like a dream there. Yeah, and also right at the start of the match, he was kind of throwing in quite a, th a few choppy slice shots, you know, keeping the ball low, really messing with the rhythm of Anna Samova, who got more and more frustrated and aggravated by it. But really haven't seen too much of that today. Well, everyone now enjoying themselves. It's been a beautiful day, but probably a nice day to sit there watching tennis. I'm not sure how <laughs> enjoyable it is to actually out there running around in this heat. Time. Well, it's a match that's been full of twists and turns. How many more have we got in this deciding set? Samova still has the break, leads 2-1. Oh! Love the team. Two in a row there, found the baseline. I'm not sure what Stritzova is asking. I think she was asking her coach, who sat right on the baseline. Were both of those in? But the, uh, one of them, we are getting informed, that was out. So there you go. I, th I think that was the first one, incidentally. I have to say, I did think it was why, uh, long. 13-15. It's going to rub salt into the wound from Anna Samova, although Stritzova, of course, won't know that, that the ball was long. <laughs> Almost. You, you don't know what he would have to say there if he's a, she's asking the question, because... It was too late to challenge anyway as Anna Samova finds another drive volley. Hasn't missed one of those today. Yeah, that one was pretty brave, wasn't it? Because that ball was lingering in the air for quite a long time. Just seems as if she's uh, upped her serving a tiny bit, doesn't it? Serving with a little bit more accuracy herself. Game. And again, the depth and doing the damage on. against Stritzova. New ball, please. And a comfortable service hold for Anna Samova. Three games to one. He's too tired to celebrate after that game. Very weary player out here, but uh, staying in front and certainly got her game together. Incidentally, the winner of this match will, will play either Petra Martic. And uh, we don't know who Martic is yet to face, either a qualifier or a lucky loser in round one. But of course, uh, I'm sure whoever uh, does make it through, well, I think uh, they've got a good chance if it is Anderson over to get through, because you just wonder what will be left in the tank after this sort of match up in this heat.
number 15. Love Just been informed that Shea Su Wei will be the player to face Petra Martic. So if Stritzova can turn this set around, doesn't perhaps look likely at the moment, it would mean she'll be playing her doubles partner. Of course, they've had a lot of success on the doubles court. Champions here last year and winners in Wimbledon, runners up at the Australian Open. She's the world number two in doubles, Stritzova. Of course, Shea would have to get past Martic as well. 15, 30. Shea, incidentally, a lucky loser in the qualifying. Samova is actually winning the uh, the medium rally length shots. We haven't seen too many over nine anyway, which is a little surprising, especially when you consider Stritzova is usually so good in the longer rallies and Anna Samova struggling with the conditions. Yes. Well, that's more like the sort of stuff that was happening in that first set, wasn't it? Where, as you picked out, she had so many breakpoint opportunities, and each time it was given away by an unforced error off that return of serve, and that must have been the most frustrating aspect for her. I just wonder how big that point could turn out to be. Oh. Miss Stritz was changing the ball on the right pass The ball was called out. Wide. Oh, that is magnificent on the back foot throughout the rally and uh, then comes up with something run. special. Yeah, that's one Mr. of the Mr. best Divide shots we've seen from her the whole match, actually. Under pressure, being moved side to side, just coming up with that little inventive shot. Like a shovel shot, that one. Yes. I feel this is a, a big game right now context of this match both players have had opportunities to close it out yeah I agree with you the sort of pressure is ramping up all the time isn't it and uh, once again it's Stritzova who's being way more anim animated getting quite frustrated down the other end and there's Samova gone very calm hasn't she not showing any emotion at the moment I'm surprised she's challenging this one. Look comfortably wide. Maybe just to, to give herself a bit more time in between the points. That's the other thing as well at this stage of the match. You feel any long game 
it's going to count even more with the players having put so much into it and there you go that was again comfortably wide yeah again it just felt like she planted the feet a little bit too early and then swung through with not quite in the right body position and then pulled off that stroke at the end of the the swing let for service Not this time. Yes. Well, that might have hurt the legs a little bit and the lungs. I yes, think I need some more to see just a little bit of a gasp at the end of that uh, slightly longer rally. But she dug deep in it. You can see a big sigh trying to get air into those lungs. Of course, one good bit of news for the players is that the shade has come onto the court, so there is a bit more shade this near side. It will be a little bit cooler, and of course, it will be getting cooler by the second. And it's uh, all around 20 past 4 p.m. in the afternoon local time. So that's the good news for Alison Mover. It's, uh, it's a little cooler. The bad news is that the cooler temperature may well just slow the ball. Down, which means she might not be able to hit through the defense of Stritzova as easy as she was an hour or so ago. Just pulled that yeah, one as well. So that'll be a body blow for Anna Samova. Missed opportunity to get another break. It's Stritzova showing Anna plenty Samova of character, guts and fight as she has done throughout her career. Well, that's the first bit of emotion we've seen from Anna Samova for quite some time, Pete. She kind of sat down slumped and then indicated to her coaching corner that she needed to go forward more, get sort of more, I don't know what she was indicating, but she did this forward gesture with her hands. And, you know, she did have opportunities. And you said that was quite a key moment, wasn't it? Having those break point opportunities and wasn't able to get that 4-1 lead. And of course, she now knows more work to be done, having to dig deeper just a real battle emotionally this match as much as it is physically and as you say the manner in which she wasn't able to convert the break point as well second serve return missed into the net so that might just be in the back of the mind too but but again it's, it's a good sign i suppose that she hasn't called the coach on it's showing that she knows what she needs to do that's a good point she hasn't been on for a long time mm. now everything's shifted ever since the doctor came out and they had the electrolyte drinks she seemed more kind of sprightly the legs were moving a little bit better but she's still not feeling 100 percent i think that's pretty clear yeah call them on as well after the third game of the match so that's been a very long time time Well, this is uh, now a pretty big game coming up for Amanda Anisimova. So often you see the hangover effect when a player doesn't convert a break point. Often can get broken in the next game. She'll be hoping that is not the case. 3-2. like that she just looks like she has all the time in the world on the ball and uh, so balanced beautiful knee bend gets that body weight going forward 
Makes the game look easy. We've heard that scream a few times before on the WTA circuit. Now it's Stritzova's turn to know that this is a great opportunity. Well, that won't have felt good, will it? In a fairly routine ball, that one, right in the middle of the court, just where she wants it, slightly slapped at it. And those are the kind of shots that just feel so frustrating, particularly a 30-all scoreline. Now handed a break point. Misses, and I'm afraid for Anna Samoa, yeah, the unforced Samoa. errors have come back at the worst possible moment. And there is the hangover effect. Easily could have been 4 1 to Anna Samova as it was, it was 3 2. And then Stritzova breaks back for 3 all. Well, a second change of racket for Anna Samova. And again, another sort of mid court ball just where she wants it between hip and shoulder height. Normally would crunch those for outright winners. And just letting that ball sail off the strings, dragged it wide, and uh, starting to lose her confidence once again. So uh, will a new racket, some new strings make a difference? says it all doesn't it looks at the strings was it a good idea to change them banging them now and uh, looking down at her coaching corner times have we seen these sorts of matches go straight to his way throughout her career where she has just found a way battled her way through a three-set record throughout her career. Stritz of 96 match wins, 76 losses. Whereas uh, Anna Samova has only won eight and lost 12.
I think that might have cleaned the line. 30 on. Well, she's not held back since uh, the very first point of this match. Has she pretty much always going for those back lines? And that one just nailing it. the right way but can't control it 30, 40. Match, well it's always been on Anna Samova's racket hasn't it the power that she possesses but has she got the mental strength to keep going for it and keep finding a way past it of it as well as perhaps the energy another break point This time it's a little wild from Stritz of it. Game well, asked a, a few games ago, how many more twists and turns were we going to have in this and third set? The answer, plenty. Play. As the match swings towards Anna Samova again in the decider. 4-3. Well, I have to say, it's been impressive how she has kind of put away that uh, Anna Samova that walked onto the court. I mean, she has kept pretty calm ever since that uh, end of the first set, even though she's not been feeling well. And uh, even in this situation, in the final set, had control of it, let it slip, hasn't really lost her emotion. Whereas I felt like in that last game, Pete, it was Stritzova who was uh, bubbling over with emotion once again, directing most of it at her support camp down the other end and I think it kind of cost her that last game to be honest but yeah, it's a really nice sorry go on I was uh, just gonna say that was a huge game for Anna Samova to win wasn't it because having lost the last two two games she could have won herself and as you say showing mental toughness but I mean you could watch these ground strokes all day couldn't you you could because you know she's got such well-produced ground strokes terrific um, technique on both sides doesn't seem to be a weaker side really even though the uh, coach of Stritzova was coming on and saying you know aim more for the backhand side I think the backhand has actually done a lot of damage today particularly up the Time. line you know when she really leans in on it she really gets that ball through the court just lovely balance on both sides I really enjoy watching her play so has the uh, break of serve again here Anna Samova in the lead new balls as well for the American 4-3 oh. talked about that the three set wins for Stritzova but you do just worry for her right now in terms of the belief in terms of not having many match wins in 2020 oh. Her only win this year was a three-setter against Johanna Conta. Well, perhaps just going for too much. I think it's not in her nature to hold back too much, though. And there's another miss. So three unforced errors in a row. I mean, you really do have no idea which way this match is going to go next. Just when you think one player has got a grip of it. 
it changes in the other direction. game she'd really like to put it behind her very quickly a horrible game Four from uh, Anissa Mova there just too many unforced errors and where did that run of play come from two and a half hours almost on the clock now this has been a very very demanding match and uh, honestly <laughs> really difficult to predict Pete it's just ebbed and flowed there's been no level of consistency between either of them really Strutzova has still not been in front in this deciding set, but this would be the ideal time to get her nose in front as we continue to see the negative body language from Anna Samova. to that volley Indeed, either. Well, the feet got a little planted, didn't they? And uh, she almost froze when she was at the net there. But this is really crunch time now. No room for errors here. We need to really up the intensity level at this stage of the match. This sort of situation, I'd usually say to you, I'd back Stritzova, but just because she's the type of player who has come through so many of these types of matches. But you do just wonder confidence-wise. With that, the belief, whether it is there. That's yet another return of serve that has just drifted off those strings and quite a clever serve she sort of swung that into the body she got a little bit caught up inside the ball there and some over but you can see the frustration and that's the serve and volley but it's a beautiful pass from anna samova well, I always felt like Stritzova was going to go for that ball, and then it felt like she kind of slightly hesitated and pulled the racket away. Perhaps didn't do enough. You can see she definitely pulled the racket away. She could have made that ball. I think she thought that was going either wide or long. It shows you just how tough it is to judge out there in terms of how much the balls are flying. If she thought that one was flying wide or long. Of course, this is a, a new rule. Players can have a little bit of dialogue with their coach. So for the first time in this set, Barbora Stritzova is in front. More frustration for Amanda Anasimova. And with it, the Czech now a game away from taking the match. Leads 5-4. Just been a little more consistent than her opponent. Certainly in the second half of this deciding set, Stritzova has dug in. She does love a scrap and a fight. 
despite the, uh, the emotions you always see on the court with the Czech. She is actually someone who's, who's pretty good at, at focusing on what is to come rather than what's gone before. Often feels like an emotional roller coaster, but she's a, a tough fighter. Of course, uh, didn't have that much time with regards to, to get across the world because she was at the Australian Open in Melbourne for the whole of it due to reaching the final of the doubles. And how she would love to play her doubles partner. There will be a chance off that if she wins this match, if Shea can get past Martic. I say would love to play her doubles partner. Of course, uh, it's never always easy for players to play good friends and partners Time. on the doubles court. Well, Amanda Anasimova has led pretty much throughout the entirety of this deciding set, but now finds herself trailing at just the wrong time, serving to stay in the match at 4-5. Oh, well, we've Love. seen some fine drive volleys from Anna Samova. This time it's Stritzova who comes forward with great effect. Well, again, not a lot on the second serve, and Stritzer are all over it. And I'm afraid for Anna Samova, she's rather just fallen away at the back end of this encounter. Three match points for Barbora Stritzer. Oh, Oh, what a way to finish. Game seven match, the slits of us. Well, it's been a titanic two battle. Two seven, six, two, six, so many six, ups four. and downs for both players, but it is Barbora Stritzova who battles through to the second round here in Dubai. She has beaten Amanda Anisimova 7-6, 2-6, to claim just a second win of 2020 in two hours and 34 minutes of dramatic and quite unpredictable tennis. Disappointment for Anisimova, who clearly wasn't feeling all that well. And uh, let's just hope she is uh, ready for the next tournament.
around the corner, but all smiles for Stritzova. It was a tough battle. But uh, she somehow was able to win the match, and you can understand the smiles. She's now courtside with Annabelle Croft. Well, well played, Barbora. It was such a topsy-turvy match, so many twists and turns. So how did you get the win today? It wasn't really a great match uh, from, I think, both, both sides. It's really tough conditions over here, and the ball is flying everywhere. <laughs> but I was really happy to, to keep the, co the ball in the court. But it was a really tough match for me, and I'm very happy to be in the second round. I'm sure you are. And how tough was it, the fact that you were playing in the heat of the day as well, for two and a half hours out here? Yeah, we played a long match, but to be honest, I don't mind the heat. I like it better than it's cold, so I, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's a good sign. Now, of course, last year you had a fantastic season. You reached your first Grand Slam semi-final at Wimbledon, reaching, as I said, that semi-final. So how's life been on the tour since then? Uh, it's my 18th year, so <laughs> I am enjoying it kind of. Uh, sometimes it's also very tough, but yes, uh, being playing here, it's, it's great. And I'm, I love to compete and I love to have the feeling from winning matches. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, in the next round, you're going to play either Shay or Martic. Uh, I know you know Shay very well because you're the top seeds in the doubles here. So just give us your thoughts on either facing your doubles partner or Petra Martic. To be honest, I would like to face more Petra because it's never easy to play against your friend and against a partner who you're playing double with and you have really good relationship. But if it's uh, Sue she, um yeah, I'm going to perform the best I can, but it's going to be just kind of weird. <laughs> I'm sure it will. And just finally, of course, you've been a former finalist here back in 2016, so you must have wonderful memories of playing here in Dubai. Yes, I love coming here. I love to be in Dubai. And also thank you guys coming today. And I have a lot of supporters everywhere cheering for me. So it's really great to play in front of you. Absolutely. Well, everyone enjoyed watching you play. Well done. You fought hard for the victory. Into the second round, Barbora Stritzova. Yeah, great win. And as she said it there, I just love to compete. And you can see that throughout her career. She's won so many of those types of matches. And it's another win in 2024, Stritzova. This is how she did it. A lot of unforced errors in the match. But as she said, they're struggling to control the ball, flying off the racket in this, these dry conditions here in the desert. A lot of winners for Anna Samova. But in the end, it was those unforced errors that hurt the American. And, uh, and perhaps all those... Uh, lack of energy and, and struggling with the conditions so it is Barbara Stritzova who is through to the second round and as we heard there could face her doubles partner saying she doesn't actually want to face Shusei Wei because of course they are good friends as well but uh, Petra Martic will have something to say about that the eighth seed takes on Shea we believe that will be tomorrow but it is Stritzova who will meet the winner of that encounter so that is the first match done and dusted here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships